Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. We've done quite a few general maintenance videos on our 68 Mustang Coupe lately. One of the areas we addressed was the factory power steering system. We put a new boot kit on the slave cylinder and replaced our leaking control valve, which has the steering working a lot better. Unfortunately, there's still a vibration in the system, which is coming from excessive play on the existing idler arm. So today we're going to show you how to replace the idler arm in your 67 through 70 Mustang using our 68 Coupe. The idler arm assembly here is going to fit your 1967 through 1970 Mustang with power steering. There's also a different version available for a manual steering car, which installs basically the same way. This is going to mount on your passenger side frame rail on the opposite side of the pitman arm and basically do the same job of controlling steering by mounting to your center link. When the idler arm starts to wear down, it can cause excessive movement in the wheel when you're driving the car. It can cause uneven tire wear and a vibration through the steering wheel, which we're getting in our 68 coupe. For this installation, let a lift or a jack and jack stands a couple of ratchets, a pair of 9 16th sockets, 22 millimeter socket, needle nose pliers, vice grips, and a hammer. This is the idler arm assembly right here. The installation is pretty straightforward. You remove the nut here where it connects to the center link and you unbolt it from the frame rail to remove it. This is all one assembly so this stays together. Start by removing the cotter pin from the castle nut. And then we're going to remove the castle nut itself. With the castle nut removed, now we take the two nuts off the frame rail to remove the idler arm. Right, to get it off, sometimes it'll slide right off. If you're not that lucky, what you want to do, put the lower bolt in the upper hole. That actually brings the whole assembly down a little bit further. This is more room to hit this upward and separate with a hammer. If you can't get it to come free, you may have to grab a set of vice grips and turn the washer off by hand. Once you get the washer loose, you should be able to hammer it out. We're going to be installing our idler arm using this new hardware kit from AMK. This is correct for the 68 because of the colors of it, but it'll fit the other years as well. Start by putting the idler arm on the center link. Now we'll thread the nuts on just to hold everything in place. You can reinstall the original washer and the original castle nut. We're going to install a new cotter pin to replace the old one that's kind of rusted out. Now last step, tighten up the nuts and bolts on the frame rail. And your installation is finished. The new idler arm got rid of the planar power steering system, which would fix our vibration and make the car a lot nicer going down the road. The installation is pretty straightforward. It'll take you less than an hour. You'll be back on the road in no time.